cry. Oh, oh, no way. I know. Pobrecito. I know. I hate onions. <laughs> Hola, everyone. I'm Serena. And I'm Lily, Serena's mom. And this is My Kitchen Sink. And today we're making empanadas from Argentina because my mom is from Buenos Aires. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe below. For this recipe, we spent under $20, which will yield 10 empanadas total. So you can share with your friends. Growing up, I was not allowed in the kitchen, so I didn't pick up a lot of skills. So it was tough when I had a daughter to cook because obviously I came unprepared to motherhood. But as you all will know, one day when you have a kid, you figure it out. The first thing we're going to do is to mince the onion. See, this is the part that I'm not a professional. <laughs> you want to chop? Dale, gracias. No. Please, careful with your fingers. I'm not very confident <laughs> in the kitchen. Yeah, we're gonna oh mince this. This is horrible. This is horrible. Yeah, but it's okay because you, you know what? My mom brought me the bomb. No, I swear to God, my mom came on a vacation. She bought me this like when I like as soon as I moved to the States and said, "Keep it. It's going to be your best friend." And it is. The onion gadget's your best friend. Yes. <laughs> I'm very lonely. <laughs> As you can see, it's all chopped up, so it's a much faster way to go because we're not really the mincing onion type of girls. So we've already pre-boiled hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> we cooked hard-boiled eggs, four of them, and now we're gonna peel them and chop them up. This recipe came from my nanny. She lived with us since I was a kid till the day she died. She's part of my family. I call her my second mom. And because my family was not originally from Argentina, we didn't know a lot of Argentinian recipes. So she brought this recipe into our house. It's a little bit off the cuff because she never wrote down a recipe or anything like that. It really passed from her to us and then from me to Serena. And now in case I forget, we have a video on YouTube to watch. Exactly. I'm just the assistant, I don't really. Ground beef. Serena? See, si, ground beef. Take a regular pan and you add just a little bit of oil. You are going to cook the onions first, but don't let them brown. And now we're going to put all the condiments. And then, this is the trick. So you take this fuse that you normally use to do broth with, you take one, and instead of making a broth, you just take the cube, dissolve it in your hands like that, and then you sprinkle it over the meat. Now, as you can see, there is a little bit of liquid. You don't want that liquid because then when you put it inside the dough, this is going to ruin the empanadas. After you leave it at room temperature till it cools down, proceed to put it inside the tapas. tapas. These tapas are really special and amazing. It's because on it, it actually says Producto de Argentina, which means these are from Argentina, which means these are authentic tapas and authentic empanadas argentinas. Very important. That's a little too much. So just the right amount. Holding empanadas is called tacer el repulgue. I was always very intimidated by it. I thought it was really difficult, but it's just really easy. You just fold it from outside to the inside, little by little. It doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to be close enough so the meat doesn't come out when you cook it. But if it does look pretty, that's a plus. That's a bonus. Yeah. Whenever we leave Argentina, it's a 12 hour flight. That means I only have once a year, I can go actually have empanadas from my tia Diana, right? Usually we like pack a bunch for the plane. This time we took a flight and stopped in Miami for a layover. And this dog comes over and it's the TSA dog. And I was really young at the time. I was probably like in my preteens. And this dog is like jumping on me and playing with me. And the TSA agent is like, hmm. Do you have anything in your bag? We have no idea. We, we, we didn't have anything. We were like, we could, what could it be? And they're like, you know, do you have any like poultry, meat, fruits? And we're like, oh. Serena is trying to steal some and eat them. Uh, we have to throw the rest because we're yeah. not allowed to bring terrible meat to the country. The TSA agent was probably so happy with the bananas. Why? Because they didn't need them. They might have. Yeah. Is this perfectly like? Mine is like all over the place. Okay, we have to bake them because I want to eat them now. Ta-da! You put them in the oven at 350, just like peak, and if they are brown, take them out. So we really have no idea how long they go for. <laughs> just just don't go too far away, just keep peeking and don't let them burn. Because the worst thing is burned in my ass. Worst. ¿Cómo se dice en español? Como... Acá están. Acá están. Nuestras empanadas. 
Mm. It's so good. I'm sorry, did you want me to say something? I'm just really enjoying my empanada. Lo hicimos! The reason we like to make empanadas is because it connects us to our culture and it's just something that you never want to forget where you're from and you want to pass it along to your daughter. I just want to say muchas gracias. Thank you so much for instilling me everything about our culture because it's my identity, it's who I am. Thank you guys so much for watching My Kitchen Sink. For more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here. And for the full recipe, click below. Ciao. Ciao.